legislation. This has got to stop. I want no protocol. I do not want you to kill every black man because he done made you chase him. That is disgusting. It has to stop. That is enough now. You do not have the right to be God. You should not be allowed to shoot, to kill. You need, you are trained to disable. You don't want to. Y'all rather not use your tasers. You rather not just disable them and hand, handcuff them. You want to eradicate them. And it has to stop. It is not fair. I'm going to find some way and I want somebody to hear me. Lead me down the path for new laws and legislation. Yes. I need yes. to talk to someone. They need to hear me. Yes. It is not okay yes, that right. the police get to judge you, jury you, sentence you, yes, execute right. you. Yes. It is not yes. okay. We can't keep allowing them to do this. That's to right. Us. I should not be standing here with a hole in my throat from my neck down to my pelvis because I'm scared and in pain. And you are here to protect me? I don't feel like you are. I feel like you're against me because yes. your blood is blue and yes. mine is red. Yes, yes. You're wrong. You're dead wrong. It has to stop. You were here to protect and serve. Frankly, I think all type of psychological evaluations need to happen. That's right. Yes, yes, right. yes. Now, yes. yes. now right. I do not know the procedure for doing it, but you need more psychological evaluations. You need polygraphs to determine if yes. you're racist or not. Yes. Even be on the police force yes. anywhere. That's that right. way, ain't nothing wrong with 2% of it, 3%. Unfortunately, some of us do have a little bit of it in us. That's but right. not to the point where you will not be equal and fair. Not to the point where that white man was waving a gun at all of them police cars in the mall and you didn't shoot him because you said he was drunk. Right. My son was sober while you had to shoot him. Okay. So it's okay. no excuse for the behavior that is happening from the police. It is no excuse for the ignorance. It is no excuse for none of it. Now, I do have a speech and can't get to it, but there is an article, I want to say article number one, section eight. It allows them to make laws to suit their situation. When you break it down in layman's terms for somebody like me who only started their bachelor's at Temple, it allows them to change laws to suit their situation. That has to stop. Yes. So, yes. here we go. I felt threatened. I had to shoot them. That allows them to change laws to suit their situation. In Mayfair, there's footage from one end of Frankfurt to the other. And I'm telling you, that footage is put away or burnt, locked and kept, whatever. But they had footage when the Phillies play. They had footage when the Eagles and when the Phillies won the championship. You can see that Frank for the government. Now you can't show me that my son struggled with you with no bruises on his head. My son was robbed three months after he got out of prison and was scared to call the cops because he thought they would take him back to jail. He called his father and said, Daddy, what am I supposed to do? I don't want to get involved with the cops because they're going to lock me up. And my son was robbed at gunpoint. But that's okay, though. So he had to deal with that emotionally and watch his back and now die from a police officer that he was afraid of, that I am now afraid of, that I come out and wear all kind of hats so they don't notice me and make me feel intimidated. Yes. It was intimidating just walking down 6th Street yeah. and seeing that. Yeah. Well, you protest now. When two cop police officers killed in New York, it's a huge mass publicly displayed. Everybody cares. And you want to tell me which lives matter? Which lives matter? Which lives matter? If they say all lives matter, what's the problem then? Why, why are you not concerned with me and giving me answers? Why is no captain knocking on my door saying, how can we help you? Let me give you the answers I have. Not one captain. Now, they say my son was gunned down by 2.47 in the morning. I heard it's 620. Nobody was going to come to my house and tell me they just gunned down my son because his headlights were not on when he drove his car. So you, I had to call around and pray because that Florida tag I knew belonged to my son because he worked at Hertz Car Rental. Yeah. The female was on the phone with my son when she told the police, please call my manager. I can give you the number. They didn't want it. I'm telling you, my son was not confrontational with them. They beat my son bad. And I'm to the point where I'm ready to show all of y'all the pictures, but I can't until I seek advice from a lawyer. But I'm telling you, it's going to prove my son was the one who suffered hard and bad. And it's got to stop. Police yes. brutality yes. has got to stop. If yes. you don't let 
Take your job, then get out of it. All right, people. Uh, well, we are here in front of the Liberty Bell uh, for one reason, one reason only. Uh, back in 1776, uh, they declared that all men, not white men, not Asian men, not Puerto, Me Puerto Rican men, not Hispanic men, but all men were created equal. Not by the content of their character, but all men were created equal. Now, here we have a mother, and the whole city should be out here. Because it's very important that we pay attention, people. We pay attention for two reasons. About three or four days ago, inside the Philadelphia Daily News, they described a shooting in Mayfair, in Holmesburg. A shooting where a gentleman was intoxicated, and he shot inside the crowd when the police was investigating. He was disabled and taken into custody without any shots being fired. Police Officer Ramsey, we want that same officer's plan, how he planned on, uh, on apprehending him. We want the whole police force to be trained on that same plan because this individual was a Caucasian man. He lived to see another day. Now you want to talk about white privilege? There you go. White privilege right here in Philadelphia. President Obama declared that President uh, that uh, Commissioner Ramsey was going to be the head of the police new initiative. If he cannot build trust in his own city, he cannot That's lead right. the nation. Do you hear what I'm saying? If he cannot build trust in his own city, he cannot lead the nation. This is a serious problem. This is a serious crisis. The government does not want to proclaim, but we are under a state of emergency. Why? Because we are profiled. Not by just being a man, but a black man. That's right. Our character is always assassinated. Day in and day out. You can be a hard-working black man. You can be a poor-working black man. No matter what type of black man you are, this you are affected by this problem. Racial profiling. And one thing I must say, that just like Ms. Brown said, we have to take pride in ourselves. Everyone needs to pause for the cause and take a self-evaluation right. on what you are contributing to your community, to yourselves, yes. to your family, yes. and to your friends. Yes. When you post those pictures of people fighting, when you share those and you like those, you're, you're doing a disservice to your community. That's right. You should report them because I don't want my children to see them. That's right. I don't have any children, but I won't want my children to see anybody on social media fighting. This has got to stop. These numbers that you see today, this is unity. But we have to continue it. Spread the love. Gather your arms around each other. Tell somebody you love them. Give them a helping hand. All this hatred has got to stop. Yes. And it's got to stop today. I'm sorry. I want to say another thing that's in my speech. Terry, let me get in Police please. officers Thank you. have a tendency to say they're doing their job, and when they kill someone, you cannot find out their names. You don't know, I don't know who it was that shot my son. I don't know if my son hurt him. I don't know what his partner's name was. Just the other one went to the hospital for an, a mental evaluation. I say that you're a coward. You, sh you shoot him in public, let me know who you are in yes, public. Yes. How do you get to kill him and go sit behind the That's desk right. That's right. and get paid? That's right. And I don't get to know who my son's murderer was. But if it were a black man who killed the black man, you tell me. But Blue Blood and their union keeps them hidden so they don't have to come out here and face this and deal with this pain that I'm dealing with. It is wrong. What is your name, John Doe and Jane Doe? Who are you? Were you in the military? Were you, pe were you postpartum depression? Right, that person, right. excuse me for saying that wrong. But I don't know your background. So who are you? Come face me with your captain, Commissioner Ramsey, and give me some answers. Alright, yeah, we want to match. We want to match what we say on the march too. We want to put. Yeah, you can. You can. You can say. Okay. Let's say with condemnation. No, don't give me Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Alright. What do we want? Peace. What do we want? Justice. When do we want it? Now. What do we want? Justice. When do you want it? Now. What do you want? Justice. When do you want it? Now. No justice. No peace. 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 What do you want? Justice. When do you want it? Now. What do you want? Justice. When do you want it? Now. I'm here to let you know that 
Tuesday, the family, along with other community activists and concerned citizens, will have a march and a rally in the memory of Brandon Tate Brown and all other black men and women who have been shot down by Philadelphia police and law enforcement nationwide. We're asking all of you, black, white, gay, straight, Muslim, Christian, if you have issues with the police, if your family members have been shot down and no one spoke up for you, beat them. we're asking you, beat down, ridicule, thrown away. I'm asking you to join this family in the march, Mayfair March, on Tuesday at 4 p.m. It's going to be at 6055 Frankfort Avenue. 6650. 6650 Frankfort Avenue 4 at 4 p.m. sharp. Don't be afraid. We have our attorneys there to watch your back, too. So come out and stand with us. Today, Brandon Tate Brown, tomorrow your loved one. That's right. That's right. Tomorrow it could be me or you. Right. It doesn't matter. Yeah. We're asking you to come out. No justice. No peace. No justice. No peace. No justice. No peace. What do you want? Justice. When do you want it? Now. What do you want? Justice. When do you want it? Now. What do you want? Justice. When do you want it? Now. Peace and blessings. Hello, everybody. I'm one of the investigators of the case. Speak up, sir. I'm one of the investigators of the case. I can't tell you everything, but I can assure you what we've uncovered so far is clearly contradictory to what the police have said. The one thing we know is that Brandon Tate was in the driver's seat. He was asked to come out of the car and step back to the rear of the car. Now, what we do know is, from a witness, that when the cops, if they claim that they saw a gun on the console, why are you asking where's the gun when they approached the driver's side with their guns out? Understand that, out. Where it is. There were two cops there. Here's protocol. I'm a former correctional officer, so a lot of the things that I'm saying is part of the universal uh, protocol. You had two persons there. When he stepped out and he cooperated, he stepped to the rear of the vehicle. If you look on Action News' um, video, you'll see a police casing at the, the back part of the, of the car. That's where he discharged his weapon. Brandon was right there. You have another cop on the right side, and this protocol, once you bring him back, then if there is a gun, that cop is supposed to go and secure the gun. That's right. That's a fact. That's right. And nobody, that's a fact. I'm just, I'm just telling you that. What I can't say, that's Tiffany now, because I spoke to a high-level police official, to try to make it fit. We won't allow it to. Because what they're saying is, well, we don't know um, why is he out that time of night? We got footage from someplace else he can be out that he show. Be out. Well, besides the, well, no, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. Oh, hear me out. We're gonna address all that because we, we're talking about the facts here. Even though he's grown, he's allowed to be out. We can talk. We sh we have video of where his timeline is and who he was with prior to coming to that area. I'm not gonna get into who because all they they're listening to. What it is that we know so they can go intimidate them. But I promise you this. Brandon was executed. There is footage. They, they told a news reporter there wasn't footage. There is footage. And it was footage of a struggle. Consistent, consistent with what the witness said. There was a struggle. If you see the pictures of Brandon Smith, Brandon Brown, you will see on his face. If you get shot in the head, and you fall, the way he fell, he just fell. But he got contusions, not contusions, injuries. Here, 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 and he has a cracked tooth. His ass was getting beat. Plain and simple. And what he was doing was running from the cops. The reason why you had that rookie cop that was traumatized, 
Right? Speak it. Because he had only been in the force for nine months. There was no reason for them to do that. I challenge you right now. Look at these cops that you see around. How many of them have nice sticks that they're supposed to carry? How many of them have tasers? Before you kill someone, and it's called the force continuum. That's the formal word for when you use force. Prison guards have it, police have it. It's, it's a universal practice. Why wasn't none of that done first before you used daily force? These are the things that we have. It's more questions than there are answers, and they're trying to make it fit. As Mrs. Brown said, she's a taxpayer, a citizen of Philadelphia. If you have nothing to hide, then let us see it. Right. That's all she said. Tell the truth. That's all we want. You said it was no video. I know there's video. We went up there. We spoke to several people that have video that turned it over to the cops. Right. If they do anything to that video, because we're going to ask that it be preserved. We know they have it. And a high-level police officer told me they do have it. And they saw that a struggle incurred. Why did a struggle even incur when he got out peacefully, stepped to the back of the car, and he was following your command? How does he end up dead? These are real, solid questions. This is not anything philosophical. We will prove. We will prove. We will show. And the one thing I'm asking, that Seth Williams do not be the one to prosecute because he should receive the endorsement of the FOP. Yes! Let's call for a special prosecutor. Yeah. Don't send yes. it to a grand jury. Call for a special prosecutor at this point to investigate Mr. Brown's death. More to come, we promise you that. All right. All right. Let's go, let's proceed, y'all. That's smart. We proceed. Let's go. No justice, no peace. No justice, no peace. No justice, no peace. No justice, no peace. What do you want? Justice. What do we want it now? What do you want? Justice. What do you want it now? What do you want? Justice. What do you want it now? What do you want? Justice. What do you want it now? No justice. No peace. No peace. No peace. No peace. No peace. No racist. No peace! No justice! No peace! No racist! Police! 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 No racist!
street. No peace. No racist. Police. No justice. No peace. No racist. Police. No racist. Police. No racist. Police. What do you want? Justice. What do you want? Now. What do you want? Justice. What do you want? Now. What do you want? Justice. What do you want? Now.